I'm sure that there's no chance that you'll be coming, but do you plan on being at the wedding? I'm only asking this just to see what you'll say, really. <laughs> You're not coming to the wedding, right? Excuse me? Kylie? What are you talking about right now? Are you talking about the wedding between you and my son that's coming up? What other wedding would I be talking about right now? <laughs> I want to know about my wedding only. Or have you completely gone off the deep end now? <laughs> I'm not going crazy, Kylie. Rather, I'm just a bit shocked by the question you've asked is all. So if you really are talking about my own son's wedding, then of course I'll be going. I already went and got myself a new dress to wear for the occasion, and my son himself invited me to it. I wonder why you'd ask me such an absurd question in the first place. What? <laughs> are you actually planning on coming to our wedding then? No way. <laughs> Listen, old woman, you're just a low-life cleaning lady, all right? Which means you'd better think twice before you choose to come. Excuse me? Did you just call me low-life? Have you really not become aware of that yet? <laughs> I know that you talk about yourself so highly sometimes, just like your son talks about you, but in reality, you're just a measly cleaning lady, right? <laughs> Don't tell me you're still planning to have a relationship with the two of us after the wedding. I would hate to have you thinking that's actually possible. You'd look like a beggar at that point. Kylie, what exactly makes you think that sort of attitude towards me and my job is acceptable right now? I have no idea what's gotten into you. I am Brennan's mother, your fiance's mother. I have raised that man to be who he is today as a single mother. I've had to jump many walls in my life to get where I am, and that is an overnight cleaning lady. I am very proud of myself for getting to this point, and that can be seen by the fact that I've been working this job for 20 years now. I don't think that it's correct of you to call me a lowlife just because I'm a cleaning lady. Also, if Brennan was to ever hear you say something like that about me, then he'd be very upset. I have no idea what you keep running your mouth about right now. Can't I say something like that to Brennan about you? I know that he thinks the exact same thing as me, so nothing would ever change. If anything, I'm sure he'd be glad to hear me say what's on my mind and would encourage us keeping you away. What I plan to do right now, though, is cut ties to you so that Brennan never even has to be part of this. He has much more on his mind than you think, like his job and this wedding, and I wouldn't want you getting in the way of that. Huh? When you say you'll cut ties to me, do you mean that as in not viewing me as your family? I never thought that I'd be told something like that by my son's partner. Kylie, I think that currently the way you're talking to me is not okay whatsoever. Do you not feel the same about that? I was hoping that after you married my son, I could strengthen my ties with you and we could be happy together, like mother and daughter. And what I'm saying is that I don't want to become family to you. <laughs> Please don't take any of this the wrong way, all right? I really have no want in becoming your family. <laughs> Actually. I don't want you to ever talk to your son or I ever again, please. There is no way I can do something like that for you. He is my son and I am his mother. We would never ever agree to stop talking to one another. I think you need to start being more careful with what you're saying to me, Kylie. I'm sure the life of being a beggar is a quite difficult one, but I really cannot be bothered with you anymore. I don't think of you as anything to me but a stranger, so leave me the hell alone. Please and thank you. You're saying please and thank you after something like that? Brennan, I have something I'd really like to ask you right now. Do you have a moment? Hey, what's up, Mom? It's a bit late now, so make it quick. What happened? This is about your fiancé, Kylie. Do you feel that she really doesn't like me all too much? I'm a little worried about her feelings towards me, and I'd love for her and I to become closer to one another. What are you going on about, Mom? <laughs> I don't think there's anything going on between you and her. No problem at all. Just the other day, she was finally able to meet you in person and seemed really happy about that. She couldn't even stop talking about all the fun things she wanted to do with you after we got married, which was even a shock to me. What? Are you sure about that? I didn't know she was happy after that. From what I've picked up, I don't think she likes me that much due to the kind of work I do for a living. Wait, why would you think that? Why do you think she cares about your job? Does she even know what you do for a living because I never told her anything? I told her a little bit about what I've been doing while you were in the bathroom because she'd asked me about how I've been able to support you since your father left. And so I told her I work as a cleaning lady for a few different office buildings and do so overnight most of the time. 
Anyway, it's just that with a job like being an overnight cleaning lady, a lot of people don't see that as a good job. I sort of felt that she was thinking the same thing as I told her that. And I'm getting this feeling now that she doesn't fully understand the kind of work I do and what company office buildings I'm helping clean. Also, you happen to be working for a very large company and can be seen as an elite by everyone around you. So when you compare your job to what I do for a living, maybe she had higher expectations for me or something. There's no reason to be comparing my career to yours, though. What happened to you, Mom? You've never been worried about people thinking things like that about your career before, right? And so far, Kylie hasn't brought up anything about you. And I like to think that you're doing a very important job. In my case, it's because you've been working a job like that all your life that I was able to go and graduate from a university and land a job in this company making a lot of money. There's really no reason for you to be getting all worried about the kind of work you're doing, okay? That's... A good point. Somehow I think I just misunderstood things between myself and Kylie. Maybe it's just my age showing here, and I'm not that good at interpreting what others say over text. Hopefully the next time I talk with her, things will become a little bit more clear to me, and I can stop questioning what she thinks. I'm not sure what you're really talking about, Mom. <laughs> Do you at least feel better now? I'm fine, I think. Sorry for getting you all worried about something that was probably my fault to begin with. Anyway, I'm really looking forward to your guys' wedding coming up soon. I never thought I'd see you walking in here like that, Anise. <laughs> There's no place at this wedding for you, so get out of here right now! Kylie, please watch your mouth when speaking to me. I was thinking that I just misunderstood some things since we had both been texting, but perhaps I was wrong. I can tell there really has been something going on with you regarding me. Are you really telling me to leave this wedding venue right now? You think I'd be joking about something as serious as this? It's not even funny that you came all the way out here. <laughs> Hurry up and go home, please. You are a disgrace to us all, you lowlife cleaning lady. <laughs> Is that what you think then? So you're not joking around at all. I guess I should have been more direct with Brennan when I was talking about you with him. At least I can say now that you do indeed look down on me for the kind of work I do. I want to know, what were you planning by coming here and sitting in on our wedding? Did you come all the way out here to eat all our delicious foods? Is that because you normally can't eat anything other than scraps? <laughs> I feel so bad for you, but there's no food here today that's been prepared for you to have. There is no place for you here, so how about you go away? <laughs> if you're still going to say things like that, then I think I'm going to have to fight back. How about instead of you trying to fight me, you go the hell home? We never asked any of the staff to make any food for a cleaning lady like you. If you really want to be at our wedding today, then I suppose you can go stand in the back and watch. I'll go home, but you better not regret the choices you've made today, all right? I'd never regret any of this. If anything, I'm feeling really refreshed now that I've told you to screw off. You're just getting in our way by being here. And one last thing, after this, you will never talk to Brennan or I ever again. The both of us don't want to live our lives with some beggar constantly following us around and asking for money and food. I'm not too sure you and Brennan think the same thing about that, but so be it. I've heard enough from you and we'll go now. Just don't be getting all upset about things when you realize that you're regretting the choices you've made. I don't care about you anymore, so I won't be sitting around listening to you. If you really think that it's okay to talk to your fiancé's mother like that, your mother-in-law, then I'm done here. Stop blabbering on about it and go away, <laughs> you low-life old hag. Goodbye forever then, Kylie. I hope to never see you again now, and I'm positive I won't. Anise, where are you right now? Right now, things aren't going too well for me here. Do you think that you can come back to the wedding venue for me, please? I would really like to start my wedding soon, so please come back. Right now, Brennan is looking all over for you. What was that? And what the hell are you trying to talk to me about right now? I'm back home at my house now, and that is what you asked me to do before cutting ties to me. But right now, Brennan is worried that something might have happened to you and isn't allowing his wedding to start until he's found you. So right now, we haven't been able to do anything because he's running all over the venue asking people if they've seen you. So do you think you can hurry up and come back here? 
I don't want him worrying about where I am anymore, so I've gone and sent him a text telling him I'm at home. What? You... You sent Brennan a text saying that? What all did you say to him? I told him that I'm back at home right now and the reason as to why I had to leave his wedding and come home. He's calling me now, so I'm going to answer his call. What? Huh? You didn't say anything to him about me kicking you out of here, right? You didn't say anything unnecessary to him about us, right? Anise? Hello? Answer me right now, please. Didn't we make a promise to never tell Brennan anything about this? Do you plan to have our marriage fall apart or something? Anise? Are you even reading my texts or anything anymore? I don't ever remember you and I making a promise to never tell Brennan about what you did. So tell me, Kylie, what the hell are you talking about now? I know, but you should have understood that something like the situation we were in was a private one. You knew there was no reason to be telling him anything about all of that, right? Well, I told him everything. Everything about what you'd said and done to me. What? Right now, Brennan is completely shocked after what he had to hear about you. He had really believed in you and thought that you were a lot better than you really are. What? Are you... are you being serious right now about that? Why would you need to do something so needless? Don't you think that your own behavior and speaking was unnecessary? Well, it's too late now to think back on that as I understand how you feel about me and I had to let my son know that. He was the one worried about where I was when he called and he has the right to know the truth about what you told me. Wait, 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 I told you! You have taken things way too far now by telling him all about that. You've made a huge mistake telling him literally everything about what happened between you and I, right? Had you been thinking about what's to come for Brennan and I next, you shouldn't have said anything like that to him. Kylie, what are you going on about right now? Really, I'd like to know where all of this is coming from. Because there is nothing left for you and Brennan after this now. What? What do you mean there's nothing for Brennan and I after this? I don't know what you mean by that. Have you talked with your fiancé at all yet, since I've called him? Or are you avoiding him now in order to hide yourself from what he has to say about what's next for you two? Well, I'll let you know what he has to say. That wedding of yours is now cancelled, and you both will no longer be getting married. That's what he was telling me after he heard the big news. No, 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 no. <laughs> There's no way he actually meant all of that. Can't you tell what he was saying was a joke? <laughs> It was not a joke, Kylie. But I have nothing else to really say to you now, so you're going to have to confront him and talk about your guys' situation amongst one another. Please. I know before you were really wanting for us to cut ties to one another, but after what you've done here, that will very much be happening now. Thank goodness, right? Now, I'll be going. Anise, I would really like to talk with you. Could you please listen to me and be a mediator for Brennan and I as we talk? If you don't step in and help us talk, then we really won't be able to marry one another. It's already been enough trouble having our whole wedding be canceled like that today. Anise, you don't want for your son and I to be troubled and stressed out by all of this, correct? From the bottom of my heart, I am so happy to hear that my son will no longer be getting married to you. Are you aware of that? What? Why would you say something like that right now? Think of the way you're speaking to me. Right now, I am completely heartbroken by what's all going on. My heart is in pieces now. Think about the way you talk to strangers, please. What you've just said, I'll say right back to you. Think about the way you talk to strangers, please. What? Did you think about the way I felt before you started to say all of those things you said? I'm not too sure you did think about my feelings then. You started off by talking down to me because I happen to be an overnight cleaning lady, as though I'm worth nothing at all and live a life in poverty. And then come my son's wedding, you told me to leave and said even more insults about me. Then, in the end, I really did have to go home because you didn't want to take back all of those horrible things you said. Were you really thinking about what you were saying to me then? How about you think twice next time before letting things like that slip out of your mouth? Wait, when you say it all like that, you make me feel like I've done something wrong. Aren't you aware that my wedding was canceled on me today and that my fiancé is telling me he no longer wants to marry me anymore? 
Don't you feel bad for me after having to deal with all of this? Anise, please go and tell your son something to set him straight. It's going to cost a lot of money having our wedding canceled like that. And if we really do end up not getting married because of all this, then I'm going to ask for a settlement. If you really think you can do something like that, then go ahead and try. Huh? Why are you acting all tough now? You're the one that's going to be embarrassed after having me ask you for a settlement. People like you. You really are all the scum of the earth. Thank God Brennan isn't going to be getting married to you. Now, do you really think you're in the position to be getting a settlement from me? What are you trying to say to me? Of course I'm in the position to do that. The perfect position. I had to have my wedding canceled on me before it could even start and will most likely end up losing my man. I have every right to get that settlement from you. I am the victim in this situation. Did you know, Kylie, that I happen to be the one working as the cleaning lady for the building you're employed in? What? I know what you've been doing in that office building during the evening when I come in there to clean the place. I even have evidence of all that, and that means I can go right ahead and let Brennan know what's been going on. And, depending on what he would want to do, he can use that evidence I have and get a settlement from you. Wait a second, Anise. That building you're cleaning, it's the one I've been dispatched to temporarily? You're lying, right? You've really been working there during the evening? That's right. And that means I completely understand what you've been doing there after hours, Kylie. So no matter how you try to talk your way out of this, there's no escaping. I have solid evidence of what you've been up to. Have you... Have you shown all of that to Brennan already? Why would you be working at that building during the time I'm there? This is far from good. The worst outcome. I haven't shown or told him anything yet. And the reason why is because I don't want to hurt my son any more than he already is. Don't think that I'm withholding this information from him to protect you. Kylie, you pay for that whole wedding yourself and do so soon. And then, don't you ever show your face in front of us again or even contact my son and I. I'm sure, though, that after today, you won't want to come around or talk to us anyway. Hold on a sec. You have it all wrong, Anise. I really wanted to be married to Brennan, I swear. I already quit my job now, thinking that I'd be getting married to him today. Please don't make me suffer any more than I've already had to. You were already told everything by Brennan, right? About how he respects me as his mother because I raised him all by myself without the help of a husband? He always makes sure that I am okay, and I think of him as the most important person to me. And what he's told me is that he can never be married to someone who would dare disrespect me and say that we'd need to cut ties to one another. He will never, ever marry someone like you who thinks that an overnight cleaning lady like myself is a low life. You must have thought that you were on top of the world this whole time because you found yourself a man who makes hundreds of thousands a year. And you thought you could get away with acting so horrendously because of that. Right? But right as you were about to have everything, it was all taken away from you because you acted out of line. Way out of line, as a matter of fact. You are a monster, disguising yourself as a kind and lovable little girl. A monster? You are being way too toxic now, Anise. I seriously wanted to be married to Brennan because I love him. It was never anything about the love I have for him, and I never meant to act out of line. I had just finally finished that temporary dispatch to that office and was not planning to ever go back there. That's why I quit and was going to become his housewife. But now he no longer wants to marry me, so what am I going to do? Who knows? How about you find yourself a part-time job working as an overnight cleaning lady? However, I'm sure that someone with your character wouldn't even be able to last a week before quitting because you're so shallow and weak. <laughs> really, thank God my son never got married to you before finding out the true monster you are. This is goodbye forever from me now. I told you before, right? Not to regret any of the choices you were making? <laughs> Anise, did you tell Brennan about that? You were the one telling me you didn't want to hurt him anymore, and that's why you weren't going to say anything. Right now, I'm being asked to pay him a lot as a settlement. What the hell is going on here, Anise? Excuse me? What are you going on about now, Kylie? I have no clue what you're talking about this time. There's no point in playing dumb with me. 
You went and showed Brennan all of that evidence of me cheating on him. Now that you've gone and done that, there's no chance for me and him to get married anymore. We were just about to get back together and rekindle all of our love. Ugh. I have no clue what you're trying to blame me for right now, but I had nothing to do with that. Also, I highly doubt that my son was going to rekindle anything with you since that love is all ashes now. Brennan does not love you anymore, and he never will after what he's had to learn. Then tell me how he found out about all of that. You are lying to me right now, and I know it. Kylie, how about you cut all that crap out and get real about everything? If you continue to get upset with me like that, you're never going to get anything in return, and nothing will change. Well, there's nothing I can do for you anymore, though. Just get over the fact that Brennan has found out about you cheating and learn from your obvious mistakes. And then leave the two of us alone and go live your life somewhere else. I'm sure your parents and family are worried about you right now, right? They aren't worried about me. They told me that I'm an embarrassment to them all. And now I can no longer go back to my parents' house again. Right now I have no place to call home. Is that right? Well, that's too bad actually. But that has all happened because of the choices you made. This is all your fault, Anise! Kylie, the longer you continue to blame others like that, the less likely it is that you'll learn to make up for your mistakes and move on with life. You had a really good life coming your way with Brennan, but you stabbed him in the heart and cheated on him. And I bet that your whole family was really excited to see you marry the man you loved. But you went and burnt all those bridges you had and will now have to learn to live without them as well as learn how to live with the mistakes you've made while taking responsibility for them. Don't forget what you've done, Kylie. But there are no buts here. You know that already, don't you? And you know that no matter what you try and say to me, there will be nothing I can do. Now, that's it. I have nothing else to say to you about what you've done. Kylie, how about from now on you think about strangers' feelings before you say anything or do anything? That would be the best way to handle things. Goodbye forever and ever. I'm so sorry that things didn't go as planned and that my wedding ended up being a thud. At least things have calmed down for me now, so I'll be coming back home to see you, okay? And how did things end with Kylie and you? I heard from her that she was being asked to pay you a settlement or something. Is that correct? She did have to because she cheated on me at her office. I had no other choice, Mom. If I didn't do that, I would have never been able to live with things. What? So you really did know about that? Of course I knew, Mom. I also knew that you had been working at the exact same building where Kylie had been placed. <laughs> What's going on here? How did you learn about all of that? I never said anything to you about anything. So you knew all about what she'd been doing as well, huh? <laughs> well, since that's the case, this conversation will go a lot quicker. And that reason of me knowing about her cheating is why I never went to the courthouse with her before our wedding and got married. I knew that she was with another man at work, but I also really thought that you and her got along well, and I didn't want to disappoint you by breaking off things with her. I wanted you to be happy seeing your little boy get married, you know? So then, you were going to get married for my sake, Brennan? Well, that's spot on, actually. I had evidence of her cheating on me, but I wanted to make sure that you were proud of me, Mom, so I chose not to take any action at the time. But it probably was a good thing that things ended up this way and we didn't get married. Brennan, you should never do something like that. But you said that me getting married made you feel relieved. But if you getting married wasn't going to make you happy, then there's no point in doing it. From now on, don't you ever do something as stupid as that again. I want you to be happy with the choices you make, especially when it involves a huge choice like getting married. All right, Mom. Sorry for almost doing that. Oh, you don't have to apologize to me for it, though. But please remember that the only thing that will make me happy is seeing you be happy. Don't you forget that, all right? All right. And just know, I will never be upset or worried about you needing to get married or not. So take things at your own pace, because I'll be proud of you either way. Well, you'd better be around for a little while longer, because I want you to be there when I really do get married. Of course I'm going to be around for a little while longer. I'm not that old. But remember, your life isn't about what makes me happy, but what makes you happy. 
So while you're out discovering what all makes you happy and who makes you happy, I'll be praying for you. It turned out that Brennan was a lot more on top of things than I was in the end, so it didn't come as much of a shock to him that he needed to leave Kylie and end their talks about marriage. I am very relieved to know that now, but I hope from here on out he thinks about who and what he wants more, and about whether or not those things will make him happy. He's told me that he will be needing some time to relax, though, after that huge mess, and that means he's taking two weeks off to go and travel Europe and spend some time with an old friend of his. I don't remember a whole lot about her, but Brennan had always hung out with her when they were in high school and even during his years in college when he was back home for summer break. I always found her more fit for him, and he seemed to have a crush on her the whole time, but nothing was ever able to happen since she had to move back to her home country. If those feelings still exist between them, then I hope they rekindle that fire, and I get to hear from Brennan later that he's found himself a new woman. As for myself, I'm still working my job as an overnight cleaning lady and most likely will be for the next couple of years. However, Brennan was right about me getting old, and if I save up a little bit more money, I should be able to retire. Who knows how things will be by that time, but if I'm able to, I'd love to move closer to my son and spend the later years of my life around him again. I have no idea where Kylie is right now or what she's up to, but I really hope that wherever she's ended up at, she's learned to take responsibility for herself and find joy in being honest and kind. Although I'm sure with the harsh and selfish attitude she has, finding joy in life will be very difficult for her. It's good to hear that she was at least able to pay off the settlement that my son asked her for, although I'm not positive whether she was able to do that with her own savings or if she had to take out a loan or something. And considering the fact that she also had to pay for her whole wedding that she caused to be cancelled, I don't think there was anything left in her savings account anyway. 